A thread of white light rises from a vibrantly coloured hilltop. Like furled cigarette smoke around fingers, it rises, circling skyward, looming ominously above the land. William Monk's new painting series, untitled Zip, returns repeatedly to a single image. A mysterious and hovering vapour trail. Set against vivid luminescent skies of solar flare orange, mildew green and cotton candy pink, crowning a series of unknown yet identical landscapes. Is it a redemptive symbol or a coded warning? Monk refers to Pompeii, to volcanic spill and to the thick cloud of ash that descended to cast people as three-dimensional shadows caught in eternal darkness. Monk six hilltops let loose not lava, but an unidentifiable and cryptic symbol that variously reminds one of the sequence from a sci-fi movie or the vapour trail of a ground-to-air missile. The cinematic and photographic memory looms large in Monk's imagination. His grandfather, John Eldridge, was an influential British film director in the 40s and 50s. Monk suggests a photograph of a forest fire in France, the fuel trail of a missile, or the filmic sources that so obsess the artist at a younger age. Films such as Clockwork Orange, Stanley Kubrick's teen gang dystopic future vision, or Antonioni's revolutionary 60s hippie movie Zabriskie Point, or Ridley Scott's bleak future vision of tech landscapes and artificial intelligence in Blade Runner. Still, his paintings exist without fixed meaning. As he states, I don't start from a position of knowing, and I don't always end up there either. Instead, we are witness to a visual mantra, a repeated sign and image that builds import through its seriality. Painting by painting, one through seven. The meaning of the shape is unknown. Is it malevolent, a warning, or simply an atmospheric anomaly? As we find ourselves in lockdown, in this the great pause, we too are in search of meaning. In isolation with family members and loved ones, in the city or in suburbia, what does it all mean? Creating new form from the collusion of painting and the cinematic imaginary, Monk asks us in our disquiet to consider the moment, raising a brush and paint to capture in his words this silenced and beautiful apocalypse.